to. I've um, got my rocket stove on again tonight. Uh, same one you've seen before. Made a couple more modifications to it. And uh, it's just about going out now, but it's red hot. Look at that. Red hot. And that is my modification to the combustion chamber. This thing gets intense now. <laughs> It just gets hotter and hotter. It's unreal. It really is unreal. And there you go, you can see. That is red hot. And that is burning from the bits that I've put in. And uh, just a few sticks that have nearly gone out of those in a little bit actually. Shove them in. It's, uh, it's nearly done. I know I keep putting this same one on but it's normally because I keep doing little alterations to it to try and make it more efficient and, um, and each one tends to do just that. And there it is. It's just too hot to get the camera close to it. it uh, <laughs> it's intense. Anyway, I thought I'd share it with you. Um, so you can see. I'll try and zoom in if I can. Just to show. Whoops. If I can, if I can get it to focus. Yes, yeah, starting to focus. I think. A bit, maybe. Maybe not. Anyway. Yeah. I've uh, probably had better footage on it before, but... I um, just wanted to show... This combustion chamber... Actually does work a lot. And um, a good little trick you can do if you suddenly want some extra heat... Quite quickly is I just put a block of wood well, in the top and um, shortly that should ignite like that now can you see the <laughs> See the swirl around that. It's just uh, just trying to consume it. There we go. So if you needed some instant heat, just bang a block of wood in the top. It doesn't take long before that starts to really get a hold. And burn it up. <coughs> so as you can see in here, um, I think the sticks have gone. <laughs> this is just from the combustion chamber. What's left in that. And the, uh, the block of wood I've just plonked in the top. There's no getting away from it. These rocket stoves are very versatile. But there's a neat balancing act, really, in getting, in getting a combination of the, the size right to be practical for use, and at the same time efficient to burn well, to get plenty of heat from it, and yet smoke as little as possible. And... Um, and what I've done so far seems to work very well for me. Um, there's just, if you look in the combustion chamber, there's no soot there. No? It's just too hot for that. <laughs> it's just burning all the soot on the inside. You're going to get some uh, small amount on a pan, but 
you can always put uh, something on the outside of that either whether it's foil or a, a, another small plate or even uh, sort of a uh, cast iron skillet something like that underneath the pot you're trying to boil up and that'll take the soot not mess your pans up but uh, this thing works so damn well it's just just great and I've looked at lots of different stoves and weighed up the pros and cons of each one but I keep coming back to this rocket stove for the most fun to use and um, <coughs> at the same time it's just so practical they are great they are really good anyway um, I thought to share that with you again so hope you enjoy it and uh, hope you get something from it and bye for now <laughs>